Hey guys, it's Frank from Detect America. Uh, tonight we're going to do a quick video showing you how to use the new uh, Ugly Box uh, Duplex. Um, there's a lot of confusion. This is the, the new uh, electrolysis unit we have out, um, and a lot of you guys are picking them up. Uh, so we're going to go through a real quick basic setup and how to use it. Uh, the one thing to remember is the duplex is basically two units in one. It is a um, ugly box basic unit and an ugly box n series unit they are together in the same box they are two separate units you can run them independently of each other you can run two separate tanks if you want uh, or you can just use the unit from uh, initial stabilizing all the way through to your to your plating and tweaking of colors you can run the n series at higher voltage so you can uh, cook iron artifacts, larger uh, quantities of coins and iron stuff, uh, bigger, thicker items. Um, but there's a little confusion on how to actually set up and operate, so we're going to get into it right now. Uh, again, real quick video just to give you an idea how to set it up and use it and uh, get you cooking. So give me a minute. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so just to, to kind of reiterate, this is, uh, you've seen these on the pages, this is the... Um, Ugly box basic unit. It's the one touch operation, the uh, coin and catalyst terminals, and the LED that lights up. And this is the new N series, which allows you to run everything from low 9 volt voltages all the way up to 17, 18, 20 volts of power. Uh, so basically, these two units, here we go, these two units are contained in the new uh, duplex unit. Um, to give you an idea, this side is your basic unit and you can power it up with a 9 volt battery here one button operation and your two terminals here and you're going to run exactly like the basic unit the same thing goes for the other side which is the n series you can run 9 volt battery you can run external power packs uh to run this thing this sucker up to about 20 volts of electricity with very low amperage so the problem is setting it up and getting it ready to use so we're going to show you uh, the basics on how to hook this guy up and get her cooking in your tank. Okay, so real quick, we're going to start off with the basic side of the duplex machine. The basic side is just like any other uh, basic electrolysis unit. Uh, you can take your 9-volt battery, plug it into the front, and now on, on the duplex unit, the basic 9-volt connector will be marked with a B, and everything else that has to do with the N-series side will be marked with an N. So for the basic side, just take your 9-volt battery, you plug it in, and just like the basic electrolysis videos, your coin will get hooked to your the coin side, the catalyst metal will get hooked to the catalyst side, and then we'll dump it into the tank. So I'm going to hook it up real quick, put a coin, drop a coin in the tank for you, just to run it through its paces and show you how it works. Okay, so we're ready to go. We have our tank of brine solution. We are connect Our 9-volt battery is connected to the basic side of the duplex machine. We have a 1912 bar recorder hooked to our, our coin side, our negative side. Maybe you can drop that right in the tank. And we have our carbon hooked to the cat or catalyst side. Uh, marked, you know, the, the coin is marked with black, the cat is marked with red. And we drop that into the tank as well. Now, if you're afraid they're going to touch, we don't want them touching. You lock them down with, uh, I always keep spare alligator clips around. And you mark, uh, lock them down so they can't move around on you. Okay, one touch operation on all basic units. You'll see your light up. And that's it, you're cooking. Uh, we give you the third lead in case you want to run the safety circuit with the new model of the basic unit and the new model of the n-series we build in uh we custom build electromagnets in through the different uh circuits so that it restricts the flow of amperage you're running at very low amps and there's actually very little chance of this thing arcing if you're still feeling uneasy or if you're upping the voltage to the 12 volt power pack run the third lead you take your third lead you attach it to the negative side of your of your electrolysis unit and the other side too a pin a nail anything drop it in the tank in the middle that'll deflect a lot of the amperage and current going into your coin uh, so basically we're gonna let, we'll let that cook for a couple seconds and I'll come back and I'll show you how uh, how quick she cleans up silver 
Okay, guys, so literally on the basic side of this, at 9 volts only, we've been running this for 3 minutes. Um, so the tank's not even dirty. So just pull out the silver, just to give you an idea, you know, how, how good the machines work. And silver cleans up pretty, pretty easy anyway, but that was pretty quick. And that's only running at 9 volts. Now, if you are cleaning a uh, copper or bronzy coin and you need to you know you're taking it from the stabilizing all the way through to your uh, plating and you want to up the voltage you can pop out your 9 volt battery you can uh, the unit comes with a 12 volt battery power pack you can plug in your 12 volt power pack and yep, that'll increase your voltage to 12 volts um, for your for your heavier duty stuff, your heavier duty cleaning, or taking it through the stabilizing process. So that's it for the basic side, guys. It works exactly like the original basic does. There's not too much to it. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, so give me a second. We're going to set up and show you how to run through the N series. Okay, well, showing you the N-Series side. Now, we've worked the basic side, like I said, on the duplex unit. The two sides can work independent of each other. You can use any one side. You can use both sides into two separate tanks. They don't rely on each other to function. They're completely separate. Later on, I'll show you how you can actually stack the voltages uh, and use them for heavier duty items. But for now, we're just going to deal with the N-Series side. Uh, the N-Series is the newest model from Detect America. This allows you to run voltages either as low as 9 volts or as high as in the 20s. Uh, that we're running the circuit in series through some electromagnet uh, coils that we put in there to restrict the flow of current. Now, the N-Series, as you look at your N-Series, now this goes for the duplex and it goes for the regular single n-series units that we sell separately okay so the n-series and when you look at the n-series you have a, a digital meter your one button operation your coin and cat terminals on the top on the sides you'll find two terminals marked positive and negative and they will be marked n external power and then you will also have a nine volt snap adapter marked with an n Everything that has to do with the N-Series side of this box will be marked with an N. Now, let's say you want to run 9 volts only. Let's say you're, run, you're running two, ta <clears throat> two tanks. You're running your basic on one. You want to run another basic setup on another. For On your N-Series, the 9-volt snap pack works just like the basic. Plug in your 9-volt battery. Now, the difference between the N-Series is this. On the back where you have the external power input you have to circuit that off you have to take your third lead that you have laying around and connect the positive to the negative terminal connect them together and that shuts off the external power without that lead being connected the unit won't function so now your external power is is connected together that eliminates it from the circuit for now and you have your 9 volt battery uh, plugged into the front. Now, we're going to operate this just like any other electrolysis unit. Your catalyst uh, terminal goes to the cat side, the side marked cat. It'll be marked in red as well. Your coin side gets hooked to the black coin terminal. And we'll take our same uh, barber quarter and we'll hook it in. Now, make some room so we can see. We'll dump that in the tank. Okay, one button operation. Hit the button. Now as you can see, now granted we're using an old 9 volt battery, guys, so it's only operating at about 6-7 volts. And you can see on the... Uh, Right now, it's only operating at five and a half. Fresher battery is going to give you higher volts, uh, but this is one that we use over and over again for Right for now, the N-Series is functioning like a basic unit. We're running a nine-volt battery, coin and cats connected, 
our, our carbon catalyst and our coin in the brine solution. And uh, if you leave it like that, it's going to operate just like your basic side. Um, no problems. Now, the N series has the ability to provide much higher voltages maintaining low amperages. So if you're cooking larger items or using a Faraday cage or Faraday plate and you're cooking multiple coins, this has the ability to up the voltage to, to accommodate the, the mass that you're putting into that side now. So to let's, uh, let's show you how we up the voltage and change this into the N series. Okay, so to operate the N series to its full capacity, we start off by putting in our 9 volt battery in the front. Always have to have your terminals on either side have to be, the circuit has to be complete, either with a battery or power pack or closed off with your jump wire. So in this case, we're, we're going to run an in-series circuit. So we're going to use both sets of terminals. We have our 9 volt battery plugged into one side and we're going to take our power pack, which is fitted with alligator clips and we're hooking them to these terminals on the back. The black to the negative and the red to the positive. Okay. Now it basically going to, the rest of the, the steps are basically like any other electrolysis unit. We have our tank of brine solution, we have our catalyst metal, and we have our coin. So we're going to hook with the unit powered off, we're going to hook our catalyst metal to the side mark cat in red, drop that in our tank, and our coin to the coin side in black, and drop that in the other side of the tank. Again, if they're going to flop around on you, if they're going to move around on you, let's lock them down. Again, one touch operation, and boom. As you can see, we'll move this instead of moving the unit. We're operating now, again, with batteries that we've used in the past, but we're operating at about 17 volts. The uh, coin is cooking. And with your plating, guys, if you're, if you're doing old Tomback buttons, if you're doing um, copper coins, bronze coins, and you're taking them through the whole process from start to finish, uh, and if there's a question about what that process is, guys, go to YouTube, Detect America, Basic Safe Electrolysis, and it'll walk you through all the steps. So, that's, the, that's how this thing works, guys. That's how we get um, the N-Series, the high voltage, the low amperage, and cooking uh, anything from the ultra-fine coins and jewelry all the way up to the bulky stuff because we can put a ton of voltage into this thing with very, very low amperage because of the circuitry we've designed inside. Now, I'm going to show you one final step. I wouldn't attempt it unless you guys really get some experience with this unit. Um, practice, practice, practice. But I'm going to show you how we can hook both units up, get some serious voltage going, and cook some larger items. All right, guys. So now we're going to we're going to stack the voltages from both sides of this thing. Now the relic that we're cleaning uh, is a an old Princess Pat makeup case. Uh, one of the guys uh, on Detect America just found it and they brought it to me. So what we're doing is we have the N series hooked up just like I showed you to the makeup case. And that, right now that's cooking at about 16 and a half volts. Now this, it's severely damaged, tarnished. It's got a lot of ground effect going on. So we're going to zap some real voltage into it, and we're going to try and color it as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook, in addition to the end series cooking at 16 and a half volts, we're hooking our 9 volt battery up to the basic side. On the catalyst side of the basic unit now, I have a mercury dime. I'm going to put that in the corner of the tank. Again, lock it down. You don't want to touch any other part of any other circuit. I'll show you what we've got going on. And we've got our carbon there. We have our mercury dime there. That's our target right now. And then we're going to take the other half of the basic circuit, the coin side, and we're going to hook it to the Princess Pat makeup case, the compact case, along with the N series. And we're going to drop that back in the tank. 
Now we have both of them. Oop, we had both of them. We have both of them cooking. And the cool thing about it is, since we have separate uh, catalyst sides, it's not jumping all the voltage into your end series. It's not jumping all the voltage into your basic. It's keeping them separate, but it's pumping both of them into your target. So not only am I cleaning the target with my carbon catalyst, we're also adding silvery color to it with our mercury dime. We're operating a 16 and a half volts on that side and nine volts on the basic side. Now, you can up the voltages with power packs, guys. Up to 22 or so volts on your end series side and 12 volts on your basic side. Some serious voltage. The only thing you gotta remember is keep your, keep your circuitry separate. Don't let anything touch. Maximum amount of distances in your tank and pay attention to it. Take your tank, uh, change the water in your tank when it gets dirty. Don't let anything touch. And again, this is called stacking the voltage. I don't recommend this until you have a lot of experience. Play with the unit, play with the N-series side, play with the basic side, and get comfortable with it. Uh, I'm always available for questions on electrolysis. You can PM me at Detect America or uh, email me at DetectAmerica at AOL.com. I'll be happy to walk you through the, uh, the process. So get out there, play with your machine, and Detect America.